All right, everyone. So this is a draw my life MTG edition. So my magic career kind of had three different, um, mostly mostly three different phases. Um, but it started out when I was young. Uh, I was like any other kid. I liked to play sports. And, um, you know, one of my best friends at the time was my cousin Adam. Our moms are really close. And um, so we kind of did everything together. They, we eventually bought the same plot of land. But my cousin Adam didn't really like sports so much. So he was like, screw you, sports. Uh, let me show you something different. And so we would hang out at his house at this big table he had. And he would teach me things like D&D &D and a game called Vampire the Masquerade. And... Uh, it was a lot of fun and I would play football with one set of friends some days and other days I would go to his house and play board games or role-playing games. Eventually um, he shows me a game called Magic the Gathering. I'm looking at these cards I'm like hey what the heck is this and I, I quickly start enjoying spells like lightning bolt and and fireball and I build my very first deck which was like lightning bolt, fireballs, fire elementals, disintegrates, things like that. And uh, we have a card shop in town called Doug's Card Shop. And he was actually our school bus driver, too, at the time. So I thought that was always kind of funny. It was mostly sports cards because sports cards were still popular back then. This is right when Revives came out. And uh, so I was still in collecting sports cards, too. I collected a lot of them. So I already knew the place. And um, eventually, uh, my cousin and Adam, my cousin Adam and I, uh, would go to a lot of events and, and meet a lot of people and he had a lot of really uh, accepting uh, friends and I played an event I get second place and I'm like wow this is awesome uh, the guy I played was really cool he had a much more powerful deck than me um, but he gave me the first place prize anyway so we were all hanging out talking <coughs> afterwards and I had my cards sitting out on the table where we were playing and then some um, a-hole or <laughs> jerk I came by and stole my cards and my my cousin's friends were like dude we're gonna go get that guy well they never got him and being young I was super sad I didn't have the money to replace my collection so I was like I quit I took my cards or I took my toys and I went home and that was probably my freshman or sophomore year of high school and so I got distracted by boobs and things like that, like normal high schoolers would. And then I'd go off to college and I'd get a job at a place called Walmart, in case you maybe maybe you heard of it. I meet this cool dude named Shane, and he's into all sorts of weird things like um, ICP, and he says things like, give me a, every time I got a taco, you want a bite, motherfucker. But we get along great, and uh, we go out and hang out together, and he tells me he plays magic. And so it's not long before... I'm uh, taking my paycheck and buying these blister packs of magic cards. At the time, it must have been like original Ravnica and Kamigawa and things like that. Um, but uh, I didn't care if I couldn't pay my bills. I wanted to buy magic cards and I built decks and he had a big collection and I borrowed cards from him. And I still didn't really know much about the game. I didn't know that there were formats or even drafting, things like that. And so I, I kind of knew there was a 4X rule and that was it, 4 of rule. and. So then I kind of fall out of love with Magic quickly and start playing online poker. Well, once that gets uh, legalized, or Ill made illegal, um, I start a YouTube page and I'm enjoying it. I'm filming um, remote control cars with basically my now best friend, Brandon. This is flash forward five years later. So I've quit Magic again for the second time. And uh, we get into hobby grade RCs and we start a YouTube channel and it goes really well. We film running videos that people really like. Some of them have over a million views currently. And uh, our YouTube channel called RC Nightmare grows and it's like 50,000 subscribers. And uh, we're just super happy and we fall in love with YouTube. The problem is the community is terrible. I mean, uh, people are calling me fat or they'd be like, oh, you don't know anything. and. Um, the comment section would just wear me down some days and mostly because well I don't know I mean I just I guess maybe I'm kind of a sensitive guy so I, I do love YouTube and I love making videos and I love interacting with people because I'm kind of a introvert a little bit and uh, so 
I get back into magic and I'm like, I want to do YouTube because the community for magic is great. And because I'm an adult and I have a job now, I can afford to buy booster boxes and booster boxes. And I just start opening them and opening them and opening them. People have fun. And I do crazy stuff like I buy unlimited starter decks and I crack a Mox Ruby and just all the memories come flooding back. And it's an incredible time. And, uh, now I start focusing on learning draft. I fall in love with draft. It replaces poker as a competitive event for me. And now my addiction is really ingrained in me. Uh, I start drafting almost every night. I start streaming. I start doing things like Twitch. My YouTube channel starts to grow and grow and grow. And the community is amazing. And pe people in the community are just uh, so supportive and, and so awesome. And so I stay, and I've been playing Magic for many years now, and I decide I'm going to go to an event. So I go to GP Chicago, my first Grand Prix, take my little red truck down there, about a two-hour drive from Milwaukee, and I meet other YouTubers and resident nice guys, um, Lucas. Um, I try to represent his eyebrows better here, and Mr. Lengthy Zemet with a grumpy face. These guys I would consider you know, re real-life friends, and they help me get better at standard to help me put together a deck and teach me about um, meta and you know eventually I get into modern and well now I'm just full-on addicted and I'm happy because I found something that I can compete with that I can meet friends with the community is so supportive and, and amazing and you know there are great YouTubers. I get to work with guys like Boogie2988 and the and the awesome guys from Stuff They Don't Want You to Know and things are starting to snowball. So it's like YouTube plus the community plus MTG is is really happiness. I'd love to hear your tale. Tell me your MTG life story. Thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. And if you haven't already, check out some of our most popular playlists from MTG vlogs, sick gameplay videos, new product breaks, and some insane vintage openings. I upload three to four new Magic the Gathering videos every week. So if you haven't already, please take a moment to crush that subscribe button to join one of the fastest growing Magic the Gathering channels on YouTube. Talk to you later.